This video is sponsored by Two More Cast Subscription Tackle Box. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. Tonight's video, uh, we're going to do a catch and cook. I actually already caught the crappie last night, but I wanted to show you a technique that I was using last night because the bite was a super finesse bite. They just wanted a live minnow hanging there. They didn't want a jigging at all. Um, so I'm going to show you the rig that I was using. Slip bobber rig, something you can use year round and it's super effective ice fishing, especially when you can fish multiple lines. Here in Wisconsin, we can actually fish up to three lines. Um, I'm only using two tonight, but it's pretty much the same exact setup that I use for open water. As you can see right here, got the yarn stop. I'm going to link a how to tie this entire thing up. It's an open water video, but it's the same exact setup. Got the yarn stop. I'm fishing about 19, 20 feet deep. Well, a little bit deeper actually. And uh, so that's set at 20 feet deep up the line. And then I have a, this is a 1 8 ounce, actually this is a 1 16th ounce split shot. And then a number one Aberdeen hook with a live minnow. I like to hook them through the back. Um, when you're fishing straight vertical with these minnows, it, they, they definitely wriggle a lot more, a lot more action kind of triggering a bite. One key when you're fishing live minnows, depending on how aggressive the bite is, if the bite is not that aggressive, you're going to want to take your weight right here and you're going to slide it all the way down to the top of your Aberdeen hook. Okay, right now what we got it, tonight's just like a semi-aggressive bite, but last night it was, they just wanted it dead still, they come up grab it and then slowly bring it back down the water column and you see that slip bobber go back down. Now this is a different type of slip bobber than what you probably are used to seeing. This is a little three inch foam slip bobber, something we use for ice fishing. Cool, two things that are pretty cool about this. Just snaps right into the line. And I'm using a four pound mono for this. It just snaps right into the line like that. And it slides up and down the line and when you need to take it off let's say you got a problem with uh, ice on your your rod tip or ice on the line you just pop it right off like that the other cool feature is it's got the hole right there um, let's see if I, I brought them yes I did they make these little lights now you can attach it to a regular hard bobble but you see this one right here the light will actually go right there so maybe if you don't have enough uh, light when you're fishing at night like I'm right now um, you can put a little light right there if you don't have a, a lantern or some other lamps pretty dark in your ice shanty or for those of you that fish in the southern states that want to night fish all those marinas there you go something you're not doing a ton of casting with it this is more just kind of dropping it in one spot like we are doing for ice fishing and uh, getting some bites here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, there's a crappie. Crappie number one of the night on the live minnow. Always gotta have a dead stick and that is a keeper. That's uh, probably about a nine and a half or you know, right there bud. Year round slip robber rig does the trick. Just using a little bit different of a bobber today. I'll show you the bobber in a second here. But let's go. Slip bobber technique. Foam slip bobbers for ice fishing. Great technique when these crappie and even bluegill and um, if you're fishing for walleye or bass, you can size up. This is a uh, four and a half inch, I believe, foam. And this is a three inch foam. Oh, this might be a five inch foam. This is a three inch foam right here. Three inch foam seems to work a lot better for the crappie and bluegill. Um, so I recommend that. But if the bite isn't that aggressive, you definitely need to have a dead stick. Whether it's just a regular dead stick with a, a split shot and a minnow or with a slip bobber. I prefer the slip bobber because it's a strike indicator. You can see when you got a bit. Um, and then since we're using another line, we actually have just a regular jig rod here tonight. Ooh, don't get tangled. And uh, so I've been trying to actively jig with this rod and then go with a, a dead stick. Ooh, there's a fish right there. Let's see if we can get him real quick. On. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep, there he is. Oh, does he have it? I think he's got it. Yep, got him. Okay. 
be a good eater. Oh, yeah, that's a good eater. It's another good, good eater. That is two on the dead or the dead stick with the live minnow. Get out of there. So far, that's a zero for the anything I've thrown at him actively. I might just go two dead sticks. One with just a jig and a minnow, and one with the slip bobber rig. And I got one on my on my jig rod too. Here it goes. Here it goes. I'm gonna get him this time. Yeah, got him that time. Be another keeper, buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's a little bit smaller than the other two, but right there. Gosh, you gotta love that dead stick. Uh, he's a little bit smaller than the other two. I'm gonna let him go. See you, buddy. Oh, hit down the hole. There you go. Just as I was just as I was shutting off the cameras, he hit again, and I got him back. He starts to crop. There's her. There he is. That is the third crappie we want. Nice little eater. Nice little eater crappie. He, he's about, well, that holds, let's do this. It holds eight inches across, so I'm gonna guess he's nine and a half. Right about there. Get another minnow on and drop back down. Oh, it just got popped. Is, this, is it going? I think it's going down. Here we go. Yeah, something's got it. Got him. Whatever it is. Good crappie. Oh, came off right at the hole. There's our six eater. Give a reference size, eight inch hole. It's about a nine and a half inch fish. That was number six for us. Yeah. Four more till the limit. There we go. Yeah, I caught a bunch of fish last night on that dead stick rig. It, it's always helpful to have more than one rod in the water if it's legal. And again, Wisconsin, we can have up to three, but uh, did catch a bunch of crappie, filleted them up last night. I was gonna bring them back out here tonight, but I forgot them in the fridge. So we're gonna have to cook them up when we get back. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit different batter mix than when I fried up the bluegills. Same kind of style though. And I'm uh, gonna go to, with a bread batter mix, mix in a little bit of dill for the tanginess, and then a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper. And I'm gonna enjoy those for dinner tonight. But. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to click on the top link in the video description to sign up for just $1 and get a pack of these slip bobbers so you can use them this winter. Um, you get them in packs of, uh, I believe, four or five. So highly, highly recommend this time of year. If you're ice fishing, you definitely need a dead stick set up and I highly recommend the slip bobber rigs. But even for you guys that fish marinas that are open water, nighttime fishing, definitely need something like this and don't forget don't forget these, pick those up. I'll, I'll leave a link to these. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any more fishing recipes, uh, I, I wanna do some more catching cooks on the ice. Link them or comment them down below. Uh, let me know if a fish recipe though you want me to try on the ice. I always appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, good luck on the ice and good luck on the water to you guys down south. Hopefully the winter treats you well and you catch some big fish. I'm gonna see if I can catch a few more fish here and then I'm gonna get back and fry them up. We'll see ya.